Hi, Ms. Rickert. Um, don't you ever think that it's unfair that society wants us to be curious and experiment new things, but then just arrest us afterwards? And, well, in the article, want kids to become scientists, don't arrest them for experimenting, by Liz Dwyer, clearly states that in Florida, a 16-year-old was arrested for doing a science experiment for the STEAM carnival. And so they wanted kids to experiment into science and find new things, basically. And, well, around the first week of May, Kiara Wilmot mixed toilet bowl cleaner and aluminum foil together in a plastic bottle from a popular YouTube video that she tried to recreate. And, well, yeah, it's a normal experiment where many teenagers mix together their household chemicals. She decides to do this behind her school cafeteria and after the experiment kind of exploded. And I don't think that was a very good idea to do it behind the school cafeteria. And, but no one was harmed, but she was arrested for doing it. And she was arrested for two felonies, for possessing or discharging weapons or firearms at a school-sponsored event or on school property and making, processing, throwing, projecting, placing, or discharging any destructive device. And so many people on social media sites have tried to support her um, and not let her be put in jail. And the hashtag on Twitter is science is not a crime has been trending in order for her support. And Kiara Wilmot is black, which might add another problem to this case. And, um, well, the author Liz bases off her opinion right in the title of the article about how she strongly feels about the situation. And Liz's words in her article caught my eye saying, how is that we talk so big in America about wanting kids to be scientists so that we can compete in the global economy, but only to turn around and arrest them when they actually take the initiative to engage and do the experiment. And that just made me realize that this situation is unfair. And even biologist D.N. Lee says science is not clean. Um, it is very messy and it is riddled with mistakes and mishaps, which is true. And I believe that this is was to show kids to be into new science things and that more girls should be scientists. The author wants us to understand that we can't do science experiments if they keep arresting us when it explodes or goes wrong because that's all about life, you know, things will go wrong and it's not supposed to go perfectly. I just, I feel like this article really stated that because it is true. And yeah, I agree on both sides. I mean, I think that what the school did was wrong and should have done a different punishment because arresting the girl kind of seemed a little bit unfair. I mean, even this is after the Boston bombing, it's just, it's, not, it's really unfair to my perspective. And it was Kira's fault, though, for choosing to do it behind the school cafeteria instead of home or in the classroom, actually. It could have been suspicious in why she did it there, but we don't know entirely for sure. And the school did, the make, did make the mistake of turning her into jail and should have just suspended her, maybe. Because of her race, it makes people think that she might be a horrid person, but how can we judge? I mean, she is African-American, and um, it is actually in the past that ha there has been problems with African-Americans, and I don't think that we should take that into the present. I think we should push that aside, because just because of her race doesn't mean that she could be a horrid person, because I believe she isn't, and I believe that she's just equal to everyone else on this earth and um, we don't know if this was a crime or even a small mishap. When you first read the article, it may seem unfair towards Kiara, but if you read it, reread it three times, you'll realize it's both of their faults. You'll realize what the school did was wrong, what she did was wrong. And if you keep thinking about this article, you'll realize that, yeah, maybe she did make a mistake, maybe the school made the mistake. But it's always by different perspectives, and I believe that she deserves to get out of jail. And I 
go on her side for that part. And I go for the school side for being protective of the school, protective of their county in Florida, because that was a great safety feature. And that's what I think about this article. Bye.